Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm not going to be doing a makeup tutorial. I do have one coming up very soon for you guys though that I'm really excited about. But today I thought that I would just kind of hang out with you guys, drink some Starbucks, and do my 50 random facts tag video. I love watching these videos. I don't know about you guys, but they do come around every now and then on YouTube. I think everyone's done this video at least once. My favorite videos to watch, apart from makeup videos of course, is question and answer videos, tag videos. I just love learning more about my favorite YouTubers, especially when it comes to my favorite beauty girls or men on here on YouTube. And so I thought that I'd sit down and do mine today. I I was born in the country in a small town. I was raised in a small town. I love small town living. I love living in the country. I am not a city girl. Mm -mm, no, 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 no. I am a national cheerleading champion. I grew up doing cheerleading and I loved it. Uh, it's my favorite sport, yes. And everything about it just was so much fun. Traveling with my team, cheering for the football team, getting to know the football players, getting to know my fellow cheer, cheer teammates, dancing, cheering, being loud, throwing girls up in the air, being thrown up in the air. Um, just being a part of like that community, I just loved it. I loved competing and winning nationals was just like the cherry on the top of being a cheerleader. Number three, I am a musical theater nerd. I absolutely love musical theater. I also grew up doing that and it's been some of the best times of my life. Being on stage is truly my favorite thing in the whole entire world. You put me on stage, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. If I'm dancing, if I'm singing, if I'm acting, if I'm just standing in the background pretending to cut a piece of bread, I will be on stage and I will rock cutting that piece of bread. Just, I was born to be on stage, I truly believe that. I was born to act and to entertain. That's just, that's just me. So musical theater was my favorite time in my life and I grew up doing theater at a local theater company here in San Diego and I loved every second of it and I loved every single person that I met. I went to school for child and family development. That's what I have a degree in. I absolutely loved that major. I absolutely loved learning about kids on a daily. I loved doing arts and crafts. I loved everything about it. I was a teacher. I taught preschool for about a year and I loved every second of it. All of the babies that I taught, I taught very, very little, like very little, and they are all in kindergarten now, and it, that's just like mind-boggling to me because I still remember them as like little, little, could barely talk, and now they are in kindergarten. I don't even want to talk about them, I'm getting emotional. But I also, apart from being a preschool teacher, I also taught musical theater with the company that I grew up performing with, um, and teaching there was awesome. I think I loved it more than performing. Honestly, I'm just, I have the teacher nature and that's why I loved it so much. I loved my classes and if I was ever asked to teach again, I would hands down do it without, uh-uh, no, I would do it. It would just, there's no question. I would do it again. I was born with three and a half, three, I guess, chambers in my heart. I had a hole in between two different, or two different chambers. I was not given past three months old to live because I was born like dark blue. My mom calls me her blue baby. And my, um, my defects were so like strong because I had two that they really didn't see my life being long, but I turned 26 in June, so rock on. I am a huge nerd. I love Harry Potter. I'm a huge Harry Potter nerd. Ask my husband. I have seen at the midnight premiere at every single movie since the very first one. And I had to miss the very last Harry Potter midnight premiere because of something I had going on very early the next day. And I laid in our bed and just sobbed uncontrollably all through the night because I was missing the last midnight premiere of Harry Potter. My husband laughed at me. We were only dating then, but I was just like, my life is over, I'm missing it. My fit, my three favorite movies, I have three, my three favorite movies of all time are Titanic, Fried Green Tomatoes, and Now and Then. I could watch those movies on repeat, like just continuously and love every moment of it. I love those three movies, hands down, they're my favorite. 
favorite number is number nine. A little coincidence. <laughs> I met my husband at a racetrack. Yes, I did. I met my husband at a racetrack. If that's not redneck, I don't know what is, but he's a race car driver and I grew around, grew up around the racetrack. We actually grew up around the same racetrack and at the same races and never even knew it. It was fate. We were meant to be. I am terrified of clowns. Absolutely. Like, we're just going to go on to the next one because I'm already like, <sighs> I am a diehard Marilyn Manson fan. Yes, you heard that right. I love Marilyn Manson and that really surprises people sometimes. Actually, I think probably 100% of the time because I guess I don't look like a Marilyn Manson fan. I don't know. I love NASCAR. My whole entire family, we are racing, racing, racing to the core and I love everything about the racing sport and we're going to the NASCAR race here in a few weeks and I'm so excited. Ah! Okay, also Dale Jr. You're my boy. I'm a natural blonde. I've had every single hair color imaginable. imaginable. I've had purple, I've had teal, I've had blue, I've had fire engine red, I've had dark red, I've had pink, I've had green. I mean every single color you could ever imagine but I'm a natural blonde and a lot of people are like, mm, are you sure? Are you sure it's not like a light brown? I'm like, no, I'm a blonde, trust me. Once you get to know me, you'll realize that. You know, I'm a huge Disney fan and my favorite hands down Disney movie character of all time is Peter Pan. I have a Peter Pan tattoo on my wrist. Um, it's kind of like in a weird position, so it's gonna be kind of hard to show you, but it has Peter Pan, Tinkerbell. It's in an affinity knot and it says never grow up. I got this. Uh, two years ago with my sister, so we have the matching tattoo. Um, but yeah, I love Peter Pan. It's, it's my favorite. Um, I am afraid of the dark, and I slept with a nightlight until I was 21 years old, and the only reason I stopped sleeping with a nightlight is because I moved in with, well, my now husband, and I just knew that he would save me if anyone tried to come kidnap me in the middle of the night. So yeah, I slept with a nightlight until I was 21. Um, I've won the award for best comedic relief four times in drama in high school and choir in high school. Everyone just thought that when we needed a laugh, I was the one who best gave the laugh. So yeah, I don't know if that was just because I was awkward or weird or really funny. I don't know, but I've won that four times and that's cool. My favorite show of all time, there will never, ever, ever, ever be another show on television that will top One Tree Hill. If you know me personally, you know how obsessed with One Tree Hill I am, and it's actually pretty scary. I know every single word and every single episode, all nine seasons, from front to back. City person, I'm not a beach person. Just Give me the country, give me the mountains, give me the rolling hills. Um, I'm terrified, like I said, of the ocean because A, I'm terrified of what is below me. Um, sharks and crocodiles because Lake Placid and shipwrecks. Oh my God, I can't even talk about it. Mm, a wrecked ship was recent, like because of the low tides, because of El Nino here in San Diego on Coronado. Um, island, a shipwreck is now like, has now surfaced and you can see it. And I'm just like, I will not be going to that beach anytime soon. Thank you very much. Shipwrecks just, oh God. <laughs> Which is funny because Titanic's one of my favorite movies, right? I sing. Not many people, pretty much no one, unless you grew up doing choir or musical theater with me, uh, has heard me sing before. My husband rarely ever hears me sing because I have been with him for five and a half years and I am still terrified to sing in front of him but I sing. I sing up on stage so did my sister. My sister and I got the awesome opportunity to sing up on stage with the country singer Martina McBride at her concert several moons ago but it was so much fun. Like I said performing being on stage is just hands down one of my favorite things. I have eight tattoos. Yeah, I got my first one when I was 21. Um, I think it was about three or four days after my 21st birthday when I got my first one. And pretty much um, every six to eight months, I get another tattoo. My parents love me. <laughs> I have the dream of being a published author. I love writing. It, I will talk about that here in a minute. But I love writing and I just... 
I really, really hope that one day I'm a published author. I've written two books and have not shared them with anybody because I'm terrified of being rejected as a writer. So, yeah. If you pass me down the road, like while we're driving, pass me on the freeway, whatever, if you see me driving, you will see me dancing and singing. I have to be blasting music and dancing and singing as loud as I possibly can when I'm driving. That's just me. I have a unhealthy, like the worst, unhealthy obsession with tea. Peach tea and sweet tea are my favorite teas to drink and it's probably really unhealthy with how much I drink them. I have to put my phone down for this one. So I broke this pinky. As you can see, it's crooked compared to my other one. <laughs> um, but I broke this pinky and all right here, fist fighting my sister on our trampoline when I was in seventh grade. <laughs> I share a birthday, which is June 18th, with Sir Paul McCartney from the Beatles and Blake Shelton, the country singer. And I'm pretty sure that I should win an award for that because I share a birthday with Blake Shelton and Sir Paul McCartney. I mean, come on. People think that I'm yelling every time I talk, but it's really because I come from a loud family and we're just loud in general. My husband is all constantly telling me, babe, you're, why are you yelling? And I'm like, I'm not yelling. I'm just talking. And then he, you know, spends time with my family and then he realizes that I'm not yelling. We're all just loud. <laughs> Number 30. I wanted to be married at 23 years old because my mom was 23 when her and my dad got married. So I set it out to make it a point to be married <laughs> at 23 years old and I was lucky enough to get married at 23 years old. I turned 24 like two and a half months later but I succeeded at getting married at 23 so thanks babe. <laughs> Number 31. I am barefoot 95% of the time because I hate shoes. I hate socks, I hate shoes, slippers and sandals are literally what you will find me in 95% of the time um, or I will just be barefoot. I grew up like running down the streets in my hometown barefoot. All of the kids did. We just didn't wear shoes. I hate shoes. I just, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm a barefoot girl. I always feel like I was born and raised in the wrong decade. First, I thought that I should have been a teenager or like early adult in the 50s because I love everything about the 50s. But growing up more, I realized that I should have been a teenager or like in my early 20s during the late 60s, early 70s because I am a flower child and I would give everything up in my life to be at Woodstock. I believe, I truly believe that the world is a better place because of the mountains. I know you guys have probably are like, we get it, you're a mountain girl, but seriously, the mountains are just where I go to like breathe and reflect and recharge. I just think that the world is a much better place because of the mountains. I hate confrontation. I hate conflict. Um, if I get in a fight with a friend, I will say everything I can to resolve the fight. And if whatever I say just doesn't work, I will walk away from the friendship because I'm like, I did all I can. I obviously upset you way more than I thought I did. And I'm still really sorry. I'm here for you, but I don't want to fight. I don't like conflict. I just can't do it. So... I bounced. It took me a long time, like a long time, to stand up for myself, to gain a back backbone and stand up for myself. I let people walk over me my whole entire life. I still do from time to time, um, but I feel like that's mostly just because I don't like conflict. I don't like being mean to people, and you know, so many people throughout my life have told me like I need to go, I need to grow a backbone. I need to learn how to speak up. I need to stand up for myself. And it took me a long time to do that. And usually the, the few times that I've felt like I've had to defend myself afterwards, I just feel so tired. And I'm just like, that was a lot of work standing up for yourself. Um, and it just, ugh, no. I am the biggest tomboy you'll ever meet, but I'm also the biggest girly girl you'll ever meet. 
I would much rather be inside reading, writing, or watching a movie than being at a party or a club because that's just not my thing. I've been writing as long as I can remember. I had journals all the way through elementary school, middle school, high school. I started my blog when I was in high school and writing is just one of my favorite passions. I think it ties with doing makeup. My sister and I are both big performers and we used to make up dances to the Lion King, I just can't wait to be king. Sister never let me be Simba, ever. The only time she ever let me be Simba was when I got married two years ago. And the night before my wedding, all of my bridesmaids, us girls, we were just hanging out. We were dancing on tables, dancing on the couches, having some drinks, just celebrating my last night as a single woman. And we busted out the I just can't wait to be king song and danced to it and sang to it and my sister finally let me be Simba. It was the best moment of my life. <laughs> I was pretty much bullied all the way up until now. <laughs> um, I grew up being bullied and that's something I can laugh, I can kind of laugh about now just because I've grown up a lot but I used to get made fun of for the stupidest crap. When we become homeowners, I really want a house with a big bay window and a reading nook. And if we don't have those two things, I will add on to the house because I've always wanted a big front bay window and I've always wanted a cozy reading nook to cuddle up to. So babe, I know you're watching this. When we go house hunting to buy a house, we need those two things. You can have your big garage. I just need those two things. I have to lay completely sideways in the bed and my husband hates it and that's only because I have to be touching my husband when I sleep. I have I either put my legs, he hates this, I either bend my legs up so that my knees are like in his back. I don't know why, that's just really comfortable to me. It's not comfortable to him but to me I'm like this is awesome. Um, or I have to be reaching my hand over and touching his ear. And I think that started with, I like used to play with my dad's ears like to fall asleep when I was little. And now I do that with my husband. <laughs> I made it my purpose in high school to be friends with everybody. I didn't want to be labeled as one thing. I didn't want to be, you know, have one group of friends. My group of friends in high school was so rad because we had the jocks, we had the cheerleaders, we had the drama nerds, we had the goths, we had the preps, I mean we had everybody and that was like the best group of friends you could have ever. I hate, oh my gosh, I hate when people tell me to smile. I'm like, if I don't want to smile, I don't want to smile and I'm usually smiling but there's just that, you know, there's just like that group of people or that place that you're in where sometimes you're just like, I'm not smiling right now. This is not what I'm doing. That's me. And if I'm not smiling, I'm probably not smiling for a reason or I haven't noticed that I wasn't smiling. I don't know anybody who walks around like, like, no, that'd be weird. I'd be like, stop smiling. I went to summer camp. I went to theater camp and it was the best way to spend the summer. If you never went to summer camp, oh my gosh, I feel so bad for you because summer camp was so freaking rad, especially theater camp because you're singing and dancing and acting all week, which is so cool, and you are just doing really cool things with your friends. You're out in like the middle of nowhere with some of your favorite people, your band of weirdos. We had these things called night game. The counselors would spread glow sticks out the whole entire camp, hiding them everywhere, and you had to go pick up your specific color. And you have to gather as many as you can, and if a counselor catches you, you have to give them all of your glow sticks and start again. And the counselors would hide behind cabins, behind behind bushes, would run out of bathrooms and like scare you. And it was just, they would, you wouldn't even see them coming. Like they would creep up behind you. Like, oh my gosh. It was so much fun though. Night games were my favorite. I am not high maintenance, but when it comes to hotels, I am high maintenance. And that's because hotels terrify me. And this is way long before American Horror Story came out with American Horror Story Hotel. I I just, I have to feel comfortable staying at a hotel or I will not sleep. I will not shower. Like I just, it's just, ugh. So my husband and I, 
went on a honeymoon road trip and it was hands down the best decision we could have made for our honeymoon. We had a few ideas that we wanted to do. We wanted to go to the Bahamas at first and we had already like started the paperwork for our passports and things like that because so many people were like, I'm going to Hawaii, I'm going to Fiji, I'm going to the Bahamas, let's go to a beach resort. And honestly, you guys, the best thing you could probably do is save up money, kind of make out a map of what direction you want to go to, maybe put a few things on the map, what you want to see, but other than that, just drive and see where you go. We had several stops like where we knew, like, okay, we want to stop here, we want to stop here, but most of the time, we just drove and I Google mapped like, oh, this is in this location, and then we would just get off the freeway or wherever we were, and we would stop, and it was so much fun. So apart from having a reading nook and a big bay window, I have the dream of having a wrap around porch. I'm in love with like old Victorian style houses. I dream of having a big wrap around porch so I could just sit in a chair with my coffee, with my tea, with my wine and just live like I'm in Mayberry and just have nothing bother me. And then I could have friends over and family over and we would hang out on the porch and it would just be awesome. That's just, I want a wrap around porch. And if our house doesn't have one, guess what we're doing, babe? We're building one. I have a creepishly, creepishly good memory. Like, I could tell you everything that has ever happened in my life, what day it was, not really what I was wearing, but some of them I can, um, who I was with, where we were, and it just, I have a creepishly good memory, especially when it comes to dates. I you guys had fun. I want to know a little bit about you guys, so comment down below, leave in some facts, maybe not 50, but leave as many as you want because I want to know some facts about you guys. So I will see you guys here in my next video. Thanks for hanging out with me.